Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Lufia 2. Today, I leave Sundleton for the cave to the north. Getting a water spell maybe wasn't the best idea to use my cash on right now. Alright, so, the lake cave. Once I put these in the water, I cannot pick them back up. And this enemy cannot ambush nor be ambushed. Oh, hey! Yay, level up! That level up seemed kind of underwhelming. Alright, let's see. Blue Jelly. 1.5 times normal damage, plus I could pot potentially hit a weakness. And look at how little of my IP gauge I use. I could probably do that again. So the thing about IP, well, one of many things about IP, is that your item point gauge, your IP gauge, gets reduced to zero if you uh, be brave and dive in, you'll find the way. If a character is reduced to zero hit points and is knocked down and fight, you know, killed, they, uh, their IP gets reduced to zero. So, a beetle. A hawk. Oh, an eagle. No wonder leveling up gets you so much health. I went from going down in a couple of 7 damage attacks to being able to weather multiple 14 to 15 damage attacks. Yay! Let's kill these things as quickly as I can. Nine damage. Yeah, I win. Oh, hey, I need to remember the order I defeat these things in. Shoot the arrows in the right order and you will find the way. And what's in here? Lake Cave B2. I didn't hold down the R button again soon enough. That was my bad. Insect Crush. Oh yeah, this will be really useful in this dungeon. You've seen all the insects in here, right? A very effective sword to use against insects and spiders. A has an attack that attacks all enemies, too, for its IP. Alright, Lake Cave B1. All the enemies on this floor are respawned. Oh, hey! That's nice and thoughtful. that damage increase thanks to hitting a weakness that insects have the way elements work in this game is kind of weird insect is an element for example I suppose it's more like types that Pokemon have Chopboard. Used when you cut up things like vegetables and fish, but it can also be used as a shield. A cutting board. It's 
So I need to land on that panel. Oh, hey, a save point. The uh, healing points and save points seem to be located kind of arbitrarily here. Alright, these aren't insects. And so yeah, that just... Ow. I'm gonna heal myself. So yeah, bomb attack just does the full normal attack damage against every enemy. Alright, Lake Cave V1. So I believe I want to go here? Yes. V3. Hmm. I think that might be the exit. Or the boss. I'll be glad once I have a party who can divide up these attacks so they aren't all focused on a single target. So, hit this with bomb attack, and then hit with bomb attack again. Okay, so is there anything special about this room? Ah! A Zelda trick! Create a triangle pointing upward. Okay. Actually, no. I want to be lazy about it. Oh, the lake key. Yeah, these are very Zelda-like dungeons. Actually, I believe that's a scenario item. Yeah, the key to the lake cave. So there you are. Going to this chamber and pushing around some blocks was mandatory to continue. Baby frog, aren't you cute? Ow. Wait, isn't a baby frog a tadpole? I remember this area. Behind this wall lies the path to the ordeal that awaits you. Like, there's a few specific puzzles that I really remember. Like this one. Oh! This item. Super important. Completely restores... It restores fight power and completely restores HP and MP. What they mean by restores fight power is this item brings the character back from being dead. So it's like an elixir from Final Fantasy, except better. You can use it on someone who's been killed, and they will come back at full power. Well, except their IP will be gone. Hooray! Wow. The bomb attack seems to drop the weapon's pr special property of hitting weaknesses, that of hitting the insect weakness. That is interesting. Also, you can see there's quite a range of damage on that uh, attack. 
Nope. Don't have enough IP left for bomb attack. Okay, do I have 20-ish HP left? Okay, I should be able to survive a dive attack. Wait. Okay, well, since I, you know, can't kill them both in one hit with a bomb attack, I'll just, uh... Kill them in one hit individually so I don't have to deal with both of them attacking me at once. Alright, do I have enough IP left for a bomb attack? The IP thing is like a limit breaks from Final Fantasy VII, except I feel it's better because you don't need a full gauge. Speedy Ring partially increases agility and allows you to cast a spell that increases agility during battle. So I think that's a nice reward. down here. Ow. I have not been down here. Oh, horror potion. Increases strength. Yes. It seems weird that I'm doing that. It's because there's a lot of places in this game where there are unindicated uh, secrets. Alright, head back into here to save. Wish that the healing points were here too. So, those arrows do appear a lot more than I remember, but I tended to not remember them because they uh, were not mandatory to use. Oh, this puzzle's a fun one. Whoops. I messed up. So I think we're supposed to put these here because of the little space in the edge stuff there. So this puzzle's a fun one. So you need this to get over there, but you cannot carry it down the stairs. So what do you do? You set on the water and then turn the water into land. Alright, so this boss, this next boss, if you defeat it in a certain number of turns, you get a... A long thing, sorry. If you defeat this boss in, in a certain number of turns, you get a jewel called the Catfish Jewel. Well, I want to save... Actually, no, the Rapier ain't worthwhile. Sorry. I will not be doing that. It's possible you need to go in with a full IP gauge, and I think it's weak to electricity, so you want a Thunder Attack weapon. Good, someone's finally made it this far, although I never expected anyone so weak. No use fighting. Go home before you hurt yourself. The earthquake. Is it you who's responsible? I was bored. I created the earthquake hoping somebody would come to me. Your earthquake is troubling everyone. Give it up. Well, I'll think about it. Only if you beat me. Of course, that won't happen. So yeah, big catfish. So bomb attack isn't going to do anything for me here. Ow! Mm. 
Mega Quake. So yeah, I'm not going to win this. I may not win this particular battle even because I went in so poorly prepared. Look at that attack. Oh, sheesh, I left myself in killing range. Phew. Yeah, if I lose this one, I'm gonna go back to town and rest before coming back. It is, of course, easier to get the catfish jewel. Yay, leveled up. It is easier to get the captain's jewel. I, I give up. I'll never roll out another earthquake, so please forgive me. Perhaps I'll sink under the lake and sleep for a while. Yes, that's what I'll do. It's easier to get the catfish jewel if you uh, come back with four times experience and cash. You'll definitely be a much higher level for one thing. I should have just used the escape item. Yay. Oh, right. There was something. So if you press left there, things get all kinds of messed up. All kinds of messed up. One of the things that can happen is a bunch of stats get maxed out, but uh, what I did there is no good. They even messed up his name. Let's see, so... Sword... Eh? I thought I picked up an escape item. Oh! Right, I sold it! In order to buy better equipment. In order to buy a better weapon, which went obsolete by the time I started this dungeon. Unless I wanted to use it for fighting the boss, which I didn't. one other thing to do before I move on. Huh? I thought you went to Lake Cave. I did. Then you must have missed each other. Missed too. A young woman came here looking for you. I told her you went to Lake Cave. A young woman? What was her name? She took off as soon as I told her, so I didn't catch her name. But she was quite a beauty. So, I go this way. Now, I already know where she is, but, uh, there's a lot of places to look if you missed her. So, I think it'd be logical to start by going to the other path available here. Ah! Max? And now I get to fight these on my own. Thanks. So there's a goblin and a skeleton. Hooray! Now they're dead. Max 
Tia, um, Tia, what on earth are you doing here? I, I felt like you were going away, and I just, just couldn't help myself. Silly me, you're not going anywhere, right, Maxim? Oh no, you are, aren't you? Yes. But why? You remember the ball of red light that flew north? Uh-huh. That light has an evil power that could lead to world destruction. That's what I was told. World destruction? I can't believe that. But it's true that monsters are increasing and have begun attacking people. You know that's true. Why do you have to go? The same person told me that I have the power to shatter that ball of evil light. It's, it's true that you're stronger than most, but still. I just want to know, Tia. Know what? Ever since I was born, I've known swordsmanship. No one taught me. I just knew. Why do I have this ability? What am I supposed to use it for? I have to know. So, you're not going to change your mind, are you, Maxim? No, I won't be able to see you for a while. That's not true. What? Because I'm going with you. What? No way, I can't take you with me, Tia. Hey, did I beg you to take me? I run a weapon shop. I know how to fight. Wait, Tia, don't walk around so fast. It's dangerous. I know that. Tia! Yeah, I win. Are you crazy? Thank you, Maxim. I, I'm so sorry, but I... I... Alright, Tia, let's go together. Don't be so rash. Okay. Tia joins the party. So I want to head to the next town over before I save because... Or before I quit because there's something amazing on the way there. Okay, so first, equip... Frog. Fry pan can be used both in kitchen and the battle. The chop board is weaker than what she starts with. Also, I like Max when she starts with a full set of equipment. Probably best to do that last. Okay, weapon. Battle knife. Oh, I already have one of those, don't I? Dagger. But no IP. Whip. Flame attack. Yes. Armor. Frog. Beret. Cap. No IP, but... Headband. Oh, has IP. Small shield. And there! Fully equipped. Aside from the two accessory slots. So I'm not sure how much gold I have left. Welcome to Granny's Spare Shop. Spell Shop. Okay, she starts with Spark. And with Strong. She, she can learn Drop. Oh, I don't have enough gold for that. Always in drowsy. Oh well. Oh, she even starts with drowsy. There are many, many things I don't like about, uh, what was that game? The 2010 remake, Lufia Curse of the Sinistrals. Including how it all changed the characterizations of several characters. Like, not just that it changed characterizations, that would be fine, but the exact how. Like, Maxim became some kind of an idiot. The bridge is fixed now. London's kingdom is further ahead. Good luck on your journey. Now, if instead of going north, I go south, I can find something amazing. Look at that. The guy looking for a capsule monster hinted at this place but isn't wasn't quite right about where it is. I mean, it's technically vertically located between Sunnelton and Aloons. I am Keeper of the Forest. All who pass here fight for what they believe in. Are you such a man? I see. Then stand before that spring. This is the sacred ground of Capsule Monster Fumi. If your fight is just, Fumi will gladly join your party. Oh, yeah, they removed Capsule Monsters from a uh, curse as well. Fumi has accepted you. Take good care of him, as he will be of great help to you.
Please give Fumi a name. I'll just keep the default name. Gels. So, capsule monsters. Vaguely similar to Pokemon. But you can feed them to change their form rather than them changing form upon leveling up. They fight independently of you. Like, they, they are part of your party. You cannot target them directly unless you have an IP that... Or you can affect them if you have a healing IP, for example. That affects the whole party. They... Let's see, what else about capsule monsters? Oh my. Well, they act independently. And they restore their health fully between fights. But they also have a tendency to run away if they get injured. But even if they get killed, the next fight they just will show up at full health. They're really cool and helpful that way. And you just find them in various places. Like, some of them are in shrines, some of them are just in dungeons. Okay, bomb attack. Attack the angry horse. You know, Tia should be using magic to attack instead of her weapon. She'll be having a much better time if she's throwing fire around. Lund's Kingdom. The coronation ceremony is coming soon. We can see the crown right now. Perhaps I should go too. Right, I'm not going to start up that event, which is in the castle, but I am going to... Oh, there's a dungeon up there. Go here. The coronation ceremony will be held in the ca soon in the castle. It's really worth seeing, you know. Why don't you continue your, your journey after the ceremony? Abel says he's going back, so I should too. I'd better get back before the ceremony begins. And there's this dungeon here. Alun's Northwest Cave. Hi, Potion. Excellent. Yes, I'm going to this place out of order, deliberately. I'm probably gonna die. I just wanna know what I can do here. Baby frogs. Much better damage. Oh, hey, these rocks. They're, uh... Hmm, interesting. I is this an enemy that I can manipulate? Or... Like, I need to get an enemy to stand on the middle switch, and then I need to shoot it with an arrow. Centopez, a centipede of some kind. Yeah, I know I should be calling it now, but... Going to places out of order is just delightful for me. And the enemies here are, uh... Apparently appropriate for me to be fighting! Oh, hey, look at that. There's a hole in the ground here. Oh, 
Force Rock! So the two accessory slots are a ring slot and a stone slot. Gives you the power of Raging Wild Horse. Raises some of my stats, as you can see, and also has an IP that just hits at 1.5 times damage. Okay, this puzzle's a weird one. Aha! There's just a random spot on the ground where when there's something on it, there's the stairway. Nope, don't have bomb attack. Flat flap dance, uh oh. Hooray! Victory is mine. So, moving onward. Wait. I think I might need to redo a puzzle. But yeah, there is there is in fact an indication that this thing is here. Lightweight but tough armor. Unfreezes magic of all your part members of your party. Okay, I'm gonna go check and see if I need to redo that one puzzle. I shouldn't have been so, uh, confident about what I was gonna do. Because Flap- I'm glad that Flap Flap Dance puts someone to sleep rather than confusing them, because if characters got confused, that'd be real bad. Okay, that's still there. Just how far can I go in the Alun's Northwest Cave? without completing a... without completing the coronation event. Because, like, it's mandatory to come back here later. But... For now? All right, spell. You're gonna heal us. Okay, that goes downstairs. Brave. And? Oh, miracle. What's brave do? Increases gut. Alright, the gut stat. For castle monsters, determines how likely they are to flee. For party members, determines the rate at which the IP gauge fills. Okay, so this is a mandatory set. Oh, I am not going there just yet. And this. Okay, this puzzle. This puzzle requires an item that I don't have yet, which is available only through the, uh... Uh... Oh! Hey! Why can't I think about where the item is available through? This is kind of a weird puzzle to solve, but... Because, like, there's very little indication as to the solution beyond there's treasure over here. Anyway, the, the castle has an item that I need to solve that puzzle. Oh, I found a witch ring. Increases MP. It is not MP that it increases, it increases intelligence, which... Oh, magic power, not magic points. 
freeze with enemies' magic. I'm pretty sure that's the silence spell. Or, uh, status. Alright, so. Yeah, as soon as you open one of these chests, you get trapped in here. So I hope it's worth it. Power Grace. Bracelet that protects you from magic attacks and increases magic resistance with... Okay, so... You have nowhere near as much defense power and need the points more. So, these are Cobalts. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be Cobalts. Let's see... Just toss some fire everywhere. it is, but I really like the graphics about in this game. They're just such a delight to me. Oh, hey! Tia's faster than Maxim now. That's cool. Hooray! Gel has leveled up. Ah. I should have been facing left. And I just throw fire everywhere with Tia. Ouch. Alright, you're gonna heal Tia so that Tia can continue raining fire upon all things. Game, you're gonna see, you're gonna see me do all kinds of minor sequence breaks like this. Like I am 80% certain that I won't be able to fight the boss here until uh. Oh. Until I uh, go to do things in the proper order, but I can still go here and get treasure. That'll make me slightly above the curve for the next dungeon I'm supposed to go to. Yes, I'm going to be below the curve for this dungeon in order to be above the curve for the next dungeon. What about it? I think those are weak to fire. Crabs move funny, and that makes it both easy and difficult, depending on how they move, to get in sneak attacks. They walk sideways, and it didn't occur to me until now that, you know, that's because how crabs walk in real life, sideways. Wow, I miss. When enemies are immune to a, to a weapon's damage type, the attack will miss rather than doing zero damage, and that's kind of annoying. Ah, just a single cobalt. Cobalt. Got in first. Call for the Reign of Fire. Like, there's this one dungeon you can go into later in the game that's for a far later part of the game. And, and you can get all the way to the end of the dungeon where the boss should be. Would be. And there's just nothing there. Until the proper flags are set. Okay, so what a... It's on a blue carpet. I'm pretty sure that's the boss key for this dungeon.
Okay, that's the uh, area just before the boss. For me, it's not even about being more powerful than I'm expected to be for the boss it, or for the next dungeon. It's just about doing things out of order is just something I enjoy. Like, there's clearly an intended order, and yet I can just go around that. Many enemies have utterly predictable patterns that they move in, and that's nice. You just took a lot of effort to get the kill on that thing. Oh, hey! Frock can... Some IPs act just like spells like the Frock does there. Some will only single target and some will automatically target the whole party, including your uh, capsule monster. Come on, how do I get to that chest? Do I go through? Yes. Okay. A lot of these uh, hidden passages are kind of weird, but most of them are at least indicated. Somehow, apparently. Like, my memory of hidden passages in, in this game is pretty bad. Like, I know how to recognize them when I see them, and... Uh, because I remember at least that much. All right, so go down here, up here, up through here, up through here. And I cannot go any further because I need something to break that wall. And if I could go further, I'm pretty sure I need a key to reach the boss, which is still beyond that. So, yeah! It's, it seems like a deliberate choice they made to allow us to go through here before we're technically mandated to do so. I really should have bought an escape in town. Oh, hey, what's this? That's interesting. And also clever, so I can get out without a... Okay, so... I see! Okay, those jumping arrows are a lot more prominent in this game than I remember. Probably because I'm still remembering my first playthrough where I ignored 90% of those. So now I go to town, flush with cash, the coronations, blah blah blah, talk to everyone in town. Please don't hesitate to ask if you find something you like. No IP, don't want, long knife, no IP, don't want, short sword, oh, ice attack. I might regret not having bomb attack, robe, no IP. 
cloth helmet. Hide shield. Right, I don't have a helmet that cares about it. Oh, hey, buckler. Increases attack power. Now, the thing about these is sometimes they also auto-target the wielder. And increasing attack power won't do much for Tia, but if I could target Maxim... The cor the coronation ceremony celebrates the day a new king wears the crown for the first time. Well, then why not call it the day the king wears the crown for the first time? Oh, you adults. Because coronation is much shorter and easier to say. Alon's castle's basement is so huge, like elaborate. Some even say it has monsters. I was here when our king was born, you see. I'm happy to see the prince grow all grown up. Let's see, what else? I wonder if Abel has already gone to the castle. My son Abel is always playing, never does his chores. He's in the castle or the small shrine. I hear somebody's after the prince's crown. I hope it's just a rumor. The prince's crown is so pretty, decked out with a ton of jewels. Alright, so I'm gonna... Rest of the inn and then save. And then call it for the day. Thank you for joining me. Oh! Here you see the crown, it's 20 gold a night. Are you staying over? There's a casino here. I hate casinos and RPGs. Well, any video game, really. There's only one slot machine here, but it is a casino, right? Right here, there's a big, bigger casino somewhere. I just love to go there just for a little bit. Hi there. So I can buy coins or exchange coins for items. So, flame charm, single use item that causes fire damage. Restores HP of your party members during battle if you ask it nicely. Zap charm, a talisman that causes thunder damage to one enemy. Rage knife, imbued with special rage power. Bomb attack, see through cape. A cape made of very thin cloth. Restores fight power, fully restores HP. And oh, it's just miracle, the item, as a, uh, an ability. Yeah, I'm not going to do the casino. But there it is if you're interested in dealing with it. What can I do for you today? I like, though, that they have a smaller casino here in addition to the bigger casino later on. Anyway, join me next time when I travel to Alun's castle. Alun's castle? And witness the coronation. I will see you then.